Greetings. This is Arvette McLean with Speak, the Universe Listens. New ways to view age-old challenges. Change your thoughts. Change your life. Step into the bigness of you. Things that 
she won, you know, in order to manifest. And I can, I can agree with that too, you know, but also too is uh, the energy. Because if, my, if I'm in the energy of being what I, whatever it is that I want to be, the universe is responding to me being that. So it has no choice but to sit back and, you see what I'm saying, just things happen. You know, things happen for me. And um, when I learned it, I was like, wow. Because for me, one of the many struggles that I had when it comes to uh, being in the present was still looking at the things behind me. And then also so focused on the things that I haven't reached yet that I really wasn't even in tune in my present moment. So when I learned to uh, just focus on the now, focus on being in the moment, right? Uh, I noticed a uh, shift. And uh, it's still challenging though, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's still had ups and downs from time to time. I go back and forth. But my feelings are the things that continuously go back and forth. But when I check my energy, I'm like, hmm, so how am I feeling? Well, what, what is it? What's going on with Mr. Friend today? You know what I'm saying? Where am I? When I do that, um, I notice that I can sort of be more so in the present moment and that future past. So, um, I'm going to tell you, just confuse the heck out of me. Off the subject a little bit, but you're saying the universe responds to energy, not feelings. So, what is energy? That's why I was like, it's uh, your energy is where, where you're vibrating. Mm -hmm. So how you vibrating? Um, but how do you how do you vibrate without feeling? How do you vibrate? Good question. Uh, your feelings are more so they can go back. So if I'm feeling as though all right, um, I can tell you, I feel good, I feel great. But deep down inside, I probably don't feel like that. I probably feel totally the opposite. So the universe is not respond, it's more so when I respond to my energy. So if I'm feeling like I'm not the best, that I told you, I am, right? It's gonna respond to that energy, that. To so your true feeling. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, I, I feel like um, I should have worded it differently. I'm not sure because I might not understand what you're saying. But um, a lot of times people are thinking things. So you're thinking one thing, but you're feeling something different. And so the universe is responding to how you're feeling, not to how you're thinking. So you're thinking. I'm gonna be positive and you know all the work, everything's good, high five man. But on the inside we feeling depressed or like I'm, I feel unworthy or I'm not good enough or I got a um, poverty mindset or whatever. Like if I'm feeling that even though I'm thinking something different, the universe is gonna respond to how I'm feeling because the feeling is what gives off the vibration. So that's, I should have worded it that, that way, but what you said, pretty much I'm saying. Yeah, you said, but when I learned, I learned that, um, I was like, it sort of uh, opened up my awareness a little bit more, because um, I didn't realize how much I was so, like how I was operating so much in the past and in the future that I really wasn't even in the moment. <laughs> I look at um, being in the present now too is like me being an author with the pen and with just a piece of paper and writing my story. And like in this present moment, I can write the girl this way, write the girl that way. And like just understanding that I got that power at every present moment to take my story whichever way I want it to go. 
being scared like that too, because um, another thing that I think about when I think about the topic of staying in the present is like, well, like, what if I don't like in my mind I don't like my present? Like, I don't like like you'll look at something and go, oh, like, like in a three D world, I'll be feeling like, oh, I don't like this present because this present is bills, bills, bills. And it's like, well, no. Take a step back and realize that that's not even your present. Like, you don't have to be there either. That, I feel like that is now a reflection of my past and my old mind saying like, oh, what we don't have, instead of me looking around and saying, well, no, I do have all of this and I have all of this and it's lovely. Like, it's very lovely. So I think that, um, yeah, I just think that that's super important to know that I can always change, not even change, but I can know that it is, when you're the author of your own chapter, you get to determine how many details you include in it as well. And so sometimes I think in my past, I would often look at something and surface up and go, oh, this is my present. But like now that I know I have the strength of being creative, I know I can look at it and go, yeah, but like, what if I want that right shoe to just be slightly untied? Or like, I want that left shoe to be like, what if I want him to have nothing but grades? Like I also had the power to create that right there in that moment. And so, yeah. Thank you for saying that. So, yeah. I try to constantly, every day, um, to watch what I say. You know, sometimes I may come really big on that, like what I say, what I tell myself. Um, speaking of like the things that I want, and of course, when you say that you, you want something, you're saying that you you don't have it. So like little things like that, you know, I always try to keep in mind on a daily basis, um, and just sort of. You know, being, <laughs> being, being in the moment. So, uh, another thing you know, that I just talked about is being in the present too is also like a perspective thing and a perspective switch because my present moment could be, like you were saying earlier, it could be something that I don't like or uncomfortable, uncomfortable with. But I can easily switch my perspective and make that present moment something that's working for me, if that makes sense. Yes. Okay. So like if if you know I'm riding, somebody cut me off, my present moment can easily be, man, forget them, mm -hmm. you know, angry. Or my, the perspective switch could be, oh they didn't rush, they didn't see it. They didn't, like that can like we got the power to change that present moment with just a perspective switch just like that. And it's interesting, and I don't know if I can explain this clearly. Because y'all are actually talking about two different things. The same, but different. So, what you're talking about is you're saying just be. Um, and so just being is just that, like you're not trying to control the direction that it's going in, you're not writing a story. It's like being, so it's like, for example, go in nature and be with nature. You know, see what you're looking at, see the green leaves, see, you know, the birds, see the person that's next to you. Like, be in this moment and just be. We're in, I feel like, you guys are really talking about, um, well, you kind of going back and forth, but Rodney's kind of talking about, like, how in every present moment, you have the power to choose. Like, you can choose how you feel, you can choose how you think, you can choose your perspective, like, you can choose everything in every present moment. And so, both of those things are, like, very, I think to do both of those things, to be able to do both of those things, is just very rewarding. Like the being, just like being, um, it releases all, like anything that's pulling you back. Just being is almost like when you go to sleep, you know, like when you go to sleep, you don't have all that, you know, um, stuff that's like holding you back from. I, I like the way um, Abraham Hicks describes that they're like, um, like everything is kind of waiting for us, but 
it's like we have like you know how pork can bob in the water. They say like we have so much resistance. It's like we're holding that cork down. Like that's what all of that self talk is doing. It's holding the cork down. Um, everything that you want is in that cork, but we are holding it down with our thoughts. The minute we let it go, the cork pops to the top. And so when we go to sleep, we let the cork go. When we just being, we let the cork go. And so you don't have to do anything to, um, as I don't even like to use the word manifest anymore, um, but to see more of what you want, you don't really have to do anything except release the resistance. And that comes from just being, being in the moment, seeing what's in front of you, um, interacting with what's, with what's in front of you right now without the back story. But then also, as Rodney is saying, in every present moment, I have the power to choose. And if I can stay present instead of allowing all of that negative chatter to choose for me, <laughs> then I get to choose what my future looks like because I'm choosing in the present moment to be loving, to be kind, to tell a different story, tell a story that works better for me. And that's something that I do. I do use that on a daily basis just to remind myself, you know, I have a choice of how I want to feel, how I want to think, you know, you know the direction that I want to take my day, my life in general. So uh, that's something that I always try to practice on too. Let me ask you, what what things do y'all, like what things or hobbies do y'all do when you just being, just being? Like for me, it might be fishing, golfing, just like, just sitting on my deck, relaxing. Like, so what's some of the things y'all do? Uh, for me, it might be weird, but uh, walk. Like, I would, I would walk from my, my place to uh, park off. There, I'm just in a state of peace. I'm in nature, and I'm just back. And it, it sounds crazy to people. No, no, no. <laughs> I know someone else that just walks. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 I, but I like that though because it's the only time that I'm like really free from uh, society. I don't have no, it's nothing in my head. I'm just. You know, being, I'm really, really being, so that's what I'm And of course, I love the same thing. You know, I like to run, I like to walk, I like to ride my bike, and those things just like really take me out of, you know, the day to day, so to speak. And um, like when I'm walking, I really take the time to notice, you know, all the nature, everything, like, just notice so much stuff, and it transports me somewhere different, like, I'm just in a different space, and, um, like, when I walk for exercise, it's different, like, I normally, yeah, I normally get to the park, and Stephen trying to steal my park, because I know <laughs> but um, I get to the park. At the first part of my walk, I'm walking fast. Like I'm, I'm still in exercise mode. But then, like towards the end, I slow down, and then that's when I'm like, like wow, this is the world is so beautiful. <laughs> and and uh, I was just gonna say that too. It seems like when you walking with like no purpose. Like, I don't know if that's the right term, but what I'm saying is like walking with nothing to do, like, and you just walk in, it's like different than, <laughs> what, like, you see different stuff than when you just walk into the car or just walking, this, like, intentionally doing something walking, as opposed to just, I'm just going outside just to walk. Like, you see different stuff, you get to look at the ground, like, oh, wow, <laughs> the sky is up there. <laughs> Singing out loud and dancing for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
that, that's what does it good. Like I hit a different, I hit a whole different zone. If I get the right songs going and I'll just get to singing, it's like, man, this is me. This is me and the music. I'm in a whole different concert. I get up and like be and sing loud, can't sing, dancing wild. Not really the greatest dancer, but you know, I do my thing on the road. But you know, <laughs> but like people just walking by, passing me around, no care in the world. It's just free of thought, just in the music, me and nature. Hop in the car and just go. <laughs> That's another one too. I, I like to actually drive long distance. I love it. <laughs> yeah, if I'm by myself, I gotta come back and have some music playing. And just, it's almost like walking, but I'm sitting down. I'm driving. <laughs> I'm driving. You keep that driving. <laughs> Yeah. 
even no matter what I'm doing. You know, like, I mean, I'm saying no matter what, but typically I'm at a level of joy all the time. But I'm not necessarily having fun, like, ha, 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 ha. You know, like, I want to do more of that. Like, more, I mean, I laugh all the time, but I don't know, I just want to do more of that. I like that. I think I associate the two a lot or more than I should. <laughs> like having fun and just being, like I associate them a lot. Hmm. Talk about you, Steve. How often are you getting to be? Uh, uh, a lot more uh, lately, uh, past year. But um, like I said, I love walking. That's for some reason. But what I do do is, uh, like when I'm at work, work outside. Mm -hmm. So even when I'm outside, I try to sort of shift my perspective on how I look at it instead of me just working. I try to put in, like, okay, I can make my work and me being outside. My, my me time, mm -hmm. you know, just me being. So, um, yeah, I would say a lot more just because, you know, changing, changing my shift of banking. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah. 27. Mm -hmm. Got it. <laughs> yeah. But thank you guys for uh, talking to me about this topic. No, thank you for bringing it on up and reminding me to be present. And thank you guys for joining us and we look forward to chatting with you again next week. Until then, this is Arnold. This is Steve. Right.